Hello. Today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your Toshiba Satellite Series laptop's memory. Specifically, what I'm going to be upgrading is to this, the Corsair Value Select. They're two 4 gigabyte sticks for a total of 8 gigabytes. I got this for about $65 over at Fry's Electronics. You're also going to need a plastic bowl or any kind of bowl to keep the tiny screws in. And what would doing this be like without a screwdriver? This is a screwdriver kit, but anything with the Phillips head screwdriver will work. Okay, so if you are using this tool kit, I would recommend the Phillips head PH1 right here because it will fit for all of these screws that we need to unscrew. So I'm going to unscrew all of these screws. Okay, so now that I have all of the screws out and safely put in this bowl, we now want to um, remove the battery. comes out just like that. And we also want to move the optical drive. Next, very carefully take this part of the laptop off. All right, I, that was a very difficult job to do. I had to use one of the flat heads to pry the corners with. And if you do use a flat head, make sure it's very tiny and you're very cautious about it. So now we can remove the panel. And um, over here is where we put our upgradable memory. So to eject the memory out of the slot. You want to carefully pull on the lever, pull on both levers and it will pop out just like that. And this, by the way, is, if it will focus, is a Samsung 4 gigabyte stick. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this Corsair memory out of the package. Alright, so now that I have it out of the package, I want to carefully put these in one by one. So I'm going to do this side first. Do this with caution. All right, so now I got both sticks in. I had to do it again off camera because it was a pretty difficult thing to do. So we have both of our sticks in here now, and now we want to close up the laptop. So we're going in the reverse procedure, or the reversal. So now that we have um, the thing back, the bottom of the laptop clamped on together, we can put the optical drive back in. And then we can put the battery back in. And then we can screw this on together.
Okay, so now that we have the laptop all screwed in together and the pieces back together, we can now turn on the machine. Now, you'll notice it probably won't focus, but it says RTC battery is low. Press enter to set date slash time. This is normal because uh, we um, took out and put the battery back in. Now, all we got to do is reset the time on this thing. So it is right now 5. You can't type this in, which is a really bad disadvantage. And another disadvantage is you have to do a 24 hour time. And you also can't even type it, which sucks. So it's 5.35 p.m. and today is the 26th of 2016. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And then down here at the bottom, we can do save and exit or F10 like a regular BIOS. And then we can hit yes and that will reset the machine. Yay, it's booting. Okay, so now we're at the lock screen. This, by the way, has Windows 10. I just um, downloaded a customizable lock screen to make it look like Windows 8.1. So um, now I'm going to log in. All right, I paused so I wouldn't show you my password. <laughs> And here we are. I, by the way, fully charged the laptop battery before I did this. Okay, so I opened up Task Manager. And as you can see, right now, 1.8 gigs out of 6.9 gigs. We can even take a look at it now. Right now it says that 1.7 gigabytes of memory is cached and that there's uh, 222 megabytes paged pool and 132 non-paged pool. Now it's 131. Now it's 132 again. <laughs> but uh, basically, um, this is how to upgrade your Toshiba Satellite Series memory. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Feel free to post comments below. Thank you for watching.